Hi guys, we're back again and today I'm going to show you my favorites and if you haven't seen this month's uh, empties, I uploaded them on Wednesday, the first part, the second part I'll upload next Wednesday and the first part was skincare and body so if you haven't checked that out and you're interested, uh, the link is down below and I'll put it up here as well. And now I'm going to show you my favorites of the month and I haven't been trying a lot of skincare recently, I don't know why, I think I've been bonding really well, really well, well, really well with my skincare, skincare, oh my, oh my god, with my skincare stash. So uh, I haven't been having a lot of new favorites and the first one is one that I've talked a lot recently and I just got a new uh, bottle of and it's the... Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel and this is my third package I think, third or fourth uh, and I cannot live without this, you know I've tried because I don't, it's very hard for me as a beauty blogger and stuff to be like chained down to one single cleansing product like morning cleanser and so I wanted to try more stuff and I did but nothing really compares to this and my skin is only actually really peacefully happy in the morning with this you know this is way beyond good this is a beauty staple of mine and I usually like adapt my cleansers to the way my skin is feeling but no matter how my skin is feeling if it's feeling sensitive dehydrated oily acne prone this is good for everything and for every one of my skin moods in the morning. Yeah, my favorite morning cleanser ever and I think I'll just have to keep buying it because my skin just gets mad at me when I don't use it in the morning. So yeah, great and uh, I'll put all the links to the products in the description box and if I have a review on it, I'll also link it down below. Now I'm talking about a sunscreen and um, sunscreen for oily skin types and I get a lot of questions about SPF for oily skin types because a lot of SPFs do clog your pores but then I got this in the mail the Youth Lab Daily Sunscreen Gel Cream in SPF 50 for oily skin and uh, this is this is definitely not a gel, so if you're thinking you don't like gel textures because I don't, I hate them uh, this is definitely not a gel, it's more of a lightweight cream and it is very very comfortable and I've been loving it. Uh, what it does though, it has, it's colored and it's very lightly colored but I don't think that's gonna be a problem because I think that it's just like colored enough to not be white and not like cast a white, you know, cast? Cast a white cast on your skin. So if you have really really tan skin this may de be a deal breaker and I don't know this is tinted and I think they only have this shade so um, I don't know why they did that but it doesn't have a white cast so if you're relatively fair or not very tan or if your skin is not very dark toned um, then this might be great for you. It doesn't mattify it's not as stringent uh, which I hate but it doesn't um, create more oil production, it doesn't clog your pores and it just keeps everything really balanced. Uh, it's a great makeup base, it doesn't peel off or anything so it's really great and I've been loving it. Uh, I've also have like the new uh, Zoeva, Zo I don't ever know if I'm saying right, I know the way you say it like the original way is neither Zoeva nor, Zo nor Zoeva but I used to say it's a wave and now I say it's a weaver but I still get messed up sometimes so but yeah uh, they have they have now they are coming up with this amazing like legit glorious um, brush set which is the rose golden volume 3 I have the complete eye set from the rose golden volume 2 and this is the luxury set and I think they're not gonna have a, a like an eye set just this one uh, but, um, my god, first of all, they're drop dead gorgeous and I don't know if this was intentional or not but these like suffer like an upgrade because they're so much softer and they're like buttery, like it, their hair, it's hair and sometimes synthetic hair but they're so buttery and so soft and so, oh my god. Now I forgot to say this, but these haven't come out yet. They're coming out this Monday, uh, February 29th. So be sure to check them out because they are amazing. Powering on to makeup and I have like 
kind of three items, um, not kind of items, but global, like, generalizations. And one is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. And I, ColourPop and I have, like, a legit love affair because I'm... I'm always getting their stuff non-stop and they're so cheap and it's killing me that they don't ship here because um, they just need to get their shit together and start shipping here because their products are amazing. So um, I'm using one right now, one of their lips, and it's the Stingray from... Um, this is actually from a collaboration with the YouTube uh, girl... <laughs> Okay, with a YouTuber, that's what I was meant to say, uh, and her name is Ray, and she's amazing, and if you don't follow her, I'll link it down below, be sure to follow her because she's gorgeous and amazing, and she's always, like, giving little easy but amazing stunning trips, trips, oh my god, tips uh, on makeup and hair and everything else. I also got Limbo and Tool, um, and... I got LAX for my sister as well, and she loves it. They're so long-lasting, and I actually ate pancakes before I I started filming this, and I did not retouch my lips, so this is, you know, after pancaking look. Uh, they're very long-lasting, they stay through, they're not very drying at all, because actually they're kind of uh, still, they seem to be still moist, but they don't transfer. And if you're in the States, my God, if you're in the States and you haven't tried Colourpop yet, what are you doing with your life? You have to. Um, but if you go to the States or if you have someone there that can send to you, or, you know, even, I don't like to recommend this, but I do this because I just need them, go on eBay or something. I mean, there are legit sellers there. And then I have the Colourpop eyeshadows. And I have five, and I want to get more. Um, uh, what to say about this? I mean, the ColourPop eyeshadows are like a cream to powder formula, but very, very creamy. So, um, Telepathy and uh, Kathleen Lights and also Weenie are the three of these are in a collaboration with Kathleen Lights and her. She's also awesome and has amazing talent, and I'll link her channel down below just in case you don't follow her yet because she is gorgeous and has. <laughs> incredible talent and then I have daddy and the birthday girl which was a limited edition birthday special when you swatch with your hand they're so so pigmented again very cheap so if you have the chance to get color pop if you have the chance to get color pop anything just do it go for it that is pretty much it for today guys I think I parted on pretty well but I bet I'm <laughs> I'm like so certain that I babbled like a mofo, so I'm sorry for that, but I hope you enjoyed it and you got to see a bit of my, you know, highlights of the month. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. You can also follow, follow, hmm. you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and I just created a Snapchat account, so if you don't follow me there, be sure to. The, all the deets are down below in the description box. and. See you next week, guys. Bye.